Hey guys, it's Terry here. So I've done a few of my shaping videos where I placed my camera in this position, but this wall back here is kind of bare. And I have, I don't have a lot of storage space in my bathroom. I mean, like I've got this cabinet that I picked up um, and installed it. And I've got most of my, some of my shaving gear there. The majority is actually in my in my bedroom, uh, especially my straight razors, because I don't want them to rust. Uh, so I store them in my bedroom. But what I want to do is put some of my soaps and aftershaves, and eventually, you know, I'll I'll acquire a collection of that stuff. Uh, most of my collection is basically hardware right now. So. Uh, Safety razors, uh, single edge, double edge, and straight razors primarily. And so that's out of the bathroom, but for my soft friendly brushes and soap and stuff like that, I'd like to put that here along with other things. So I've got the shelf that I acquired and I painted, and I'm actually using that in my kitchen, but I've decided to place it in this spot right here. So I'm going to quickly show you what that shelf looks like outside in the sunlight where it's a little brighter. So here's my solution for that empty space on my bathroom wall. This is my dog Salsa. Say hi Salsa. So this was a shelf that was um, used in a film project and it got discarded because they chose not to use it and they were going to throw it away so I picked it up. It, it's just plywood so it's got one, two, three, four, five, five uh, layers of plywood with some pieces inside and they've got them alternating in space here so that they were in position here so that they were able to staple it together. Anyhow, I brought this back. It was just plain plywood, so I primed it and then I painted it in this uh, gold color. I just all spray painted it. And then I got my stencil and I stenciled this fancy design on it. And I was using this as a kitchen shelf for a little while and then it dawned on me, hey, maybe I should use this in the bathroom. So that's going to be what I'm going to use in that uh, space there. So quick DIY shelf, if I can call it DIY. I didn't really make it, but I did paint it. Um, and I've already positioned it on my wall to see if it would fit. It fits nicely, however, this part here needs to be cut out. Uh, just up to about this part here and the reason being is because uh, I have a light in my bathroom and and um, this bumps it so I'm gonna have to cut this off in order for it to fit nicely so I'll get to that and update you in the next part of this video. and there we go as you can see here I've trimmed off this little bit here just so try to make it as flush as possible with this part here this upright of me um, so now it's ready to get installed onto my wall. Okay, so I just planed this little piece of wood here. It's about about 20 inches long. Um, this is going to serve as the base for my shelf. I'm just going to mount this against the wall, see if I can find a stud or two and uh, secure it to the top of this uh, base and then I'll put a couple of uh, a couple of brackets up on top and that should secure it. Okay so here we are at the wall and I've managed to find a stud right there and I've marked it off on my piece of wood here. This is cedar I believe and after planing it I'm not going to bother sanding it but it's it's fairly smooth. I mean, like it feels like a like an eight thousand grit stone. So anyhow, so that's going to be one of my drill holes, and then I'll put put one more here somewhere, and one more towards the other side. Unfortunately, those are going to have to get secured by anchors. But this is my stud here, where where this is right here. So the stud will give me. 
pretty good support and um, the other two would have to be anchored. They're not going to be as strong, but um, it's not going to need to bear a lot of weight anyways. So that should be good. So I'll go ahead and drill my hole. guys here's the revealing Ta -da! as you can see here I've got the fleur-de-lis stenciled in on the side it's also on the bottom or on each of these uh, level platforms but uh, of course that's not going to be seen since um, Gonna, it's so high up, but anyhow. So here's some shave porn for you guys. Now there's some of my DE and SE safety razors. Some vintage scuttles. Uh, some unused <laughs> razors that. This is a mustache trimmer. This is a ladies razor. Called the Curve Fit. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was designed for women, but um, it's obviously not available anymore. These guys are still available. I see them on certain websites from time to time. It's a mustache trimmer. I'll probably do a video one day on all of my uh, safety razors one day. Yeah, I really like. This one it's one of my favorites this is my go-to single-edge razor it's a gem I love it it shaves really well for something that's got a plastic cano current day Edmund Jagger a bunch of other gems and uh, auto strop my brushes miraculously it just fits perfectly in this spacer with just a couple of millimeters to spare So there you have it guys, my DIY shave den. I love taking things that people tend to throw out and upcycle it into something useful or something new. In this case, this unit here was actually a floor standing shelf I believe and they had encapsulated it with veneer. So you didn't even know that this was in there. But I looked at it and thought, hey, that would make a really neat shelf for my kitchen. So I took it home, painted it, and I decided to paint it gold after I um, primed it. And then after I painted it gold, I put on the stencil and that was last summer. And uh, today I decided I was gonna use it for my shave den. So there we go. Just to let you know I've secured it at the bottom here. This piece is the main piece that supports all the weight and that's fully secured into the wall. And then I've got a couple of small L brackets on the bottom just to secure it in place. And a couple of L brackets on the top so then it doesn't tip forward. But this thing should take a fair amount of weight because of the support beam that I've got at the bottom here. It's just resting on top. It per I pretty much didn't even need the hinges here, but I put them in anyways, just to be safe. Okay, so that's my DIY shape then, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment box below. Please subscribe to this channel so that you can be updated on any new videos that I post on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Stay sharp, stay clean. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.